So welcome to Bose Ecumenical Institute, which is the Institute of the Old Cast of Churches, attached to the University of Geneva, academically. My name is Ioan Sauca. I'm originally from Romania. I'm an Orthodox priest belonging to the Romanian Orthodox Church. Uh, I am professor and director of this institute since 2001. In 1946, this institute was created, which means two years before the foundation of the Old Cast of Churches. For this reason, until today, Bosse Ecumenical Institute is considered to be the laboratory and the avant-garde of the ecumenical movement. If you go in the Bible, we have about 15 times in the New Testament the word ecumenical, which means the inhabited world of the Greco-Roman Empire of that time, but also means the whole of creation, the integral creation as a whole, wholeness. When this was created, the movement, it's that movement which promotes the unity of Christians, but also the unity of humanity and the unity of the whole of creation, because the vision of the New Testament speaks of Christ which gathers all things together, holding them all things together, and that's why Christian unity cannot be uh, separated from search for unity of humanity and unity of the whole of creation. From 1946 until today, Students, young students, male and female, from all confessions and from all over the world, come for courses searching for unity among Christians, but also for reconciliation and healing of the wounds which history brought about in uh, our realities. The Roman Catholic Church became very involved in cooperation with all kinds of churches. And from about 1967-69, we have a permanent Catholic professor among the staff of the faculty in Bosse. Now, for the first time this year, the Roman Catholic professor has been appointed as dean of the academic studies of the Ecumenical Institute, and we are very proud about that. From 1967, every year, the Bosse students spend one week in the Vatican for exposure and learning about the Roman Catholic Church and its involvement in the ecumenical movement. So they met all the popes, starting with Paul VI. This year, Holy Father Pope Francis decided to come to visit the Old Cast of Churches, but he also will come to visit Bosse Ecumenical Institute, which makes us very happy to have the Holy Father coming to us, not only Bosse going to see the Holy Father. We'll have exchanges of gifts. There are two gifts. One on behalf of the All Council of Churches in Geneva, and will be a cross uh, which is done by uh, Idan people, a blind person from Kenya, crafted it, made it beautiful. Will be that gift also which represents the contribution of uh, differently able people in the ecumenical movement, and will be a very symbolic and powerful uh, symbol should be given to the Holy Father. Also a gift from Bosse, because Holy Father and the Vatican is very close to Bosse, as I said, uh, having here uh, presence since 1967. We are planning to give uh, Holy Father a painted icon, which is a sample, a smaller icon, of the big icon which is in the lobby. And that is an icon which is the symbol of Bosse. Jesus Christ in the middle, calling the whole world creation, but also different cultures and nations, different faces, different genders, and different ages. And this is what we would like to offer to the Holy Father as a symbol uh, of Bosse and from Bosse. In the chapel, we'll have students with teachers, but also people from the Bosse community, meaning cooks, cleaning ladies, gardeners, all here, dressed in their dresses as they come from the kitchen. Because we'd like to show Holy Father who we are, and that formation in Bosse is a community formation, where teachers participate in formation, but also the other staff participate in, in, in the formation of our students. So all together will be here. 
to all our courses now we invite scholars from Jewish, Muslim, Hindu and Buddhist communities to come and lecture to our students. An introduction just to let them know what the others are and what do they think. Because to be ecumenical trained today, you have to be formed to respond to the realities of our time. So the interfaith component is part of the curriculum of ecumenical formation. The second thing also coming from students, saying the traditional Christianity is in the world cast of churches, historical churches. But most of the emerging churches today, like Evangelicals, Pentecostals, Charismatics, they are not members of the world cast of churches. How do we form the younger generation from these churches? So the board in 2001 accepted the proposal to open the possibility for students coming from non-WCC member churches to be also BOSI students. So from that time until today, about one third of our students come from Evangelical, Pentecostal and Charismatic churches. A great change, but also a great challenge. To have all these people together in such a community is not easy, but it's fascinating difficult, but we decided to stay together. When we are separated, we have so many misconceptions about one another. But when students come and share one month together, they discover many commonalities. And what gave me courage after they left Bosse, even these interfaith students, they created networks where they keep in touch with one another. If something happens in the world, you see immediately the other side taking uh, an initiative of supporting their friends or colleagues uh, which are suffering. And this is a kind of a mutual help when people know one another.